Hello everybody, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with some home updates today. So I thought I would show you a few of the things that I've been getting up to around the home, some DIY, and also I thought I would show you the roof garden as well, because it's been a little while since we looked out there. And it's finally starting to look how it should. So after the loft renovations, it did have a bit of a bashing and it was kind of covered in rubble for quite a long time. Finally looking a little bit tidy. So I thought we'd pop out there as it's a nice day today and just see how things are looking and I'll update you on that too. So before we get into the video, if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I post new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this video of random home updates, then do give the video a thumbs up. Right, where to start? Oh, I'll tell you what I'm wearing first of all. This is one of the charity shop shirts that I picked up recently. You may have seen that video and this was the one, I think it was from Boohoo originally and it's kind of like this cord fabric or almost like a chenille fabric actually and I really like it. It's really comfortable and kind of perfect as we're going into summer. So that's my outfit for today. I've just got a pair of jeans on with it and some paint samples have arrived so let me show you those. These have been sent over from Lick Paint. I've heard great things about Lick. I've never tried it before but I've heard good things. Oh, it says you've got great taste. <laughs> Seeing is believing. So let's have a look at some of the colors that I have selected. These are some options for this kind of wall over here that I've been thinking about painting along with the two doors. And I wanted to play around with some different colors. So I've picked out a few greens. So this one is green number seven. I really like this one. It's kind of in between, isn't it? And then we have a red. I just thought it'd be good to experiment um, as these samples, they're kind of all peel and stick, so you can also stick them on other rooms around the home, which is really handy. And then we have this green as well, this is green five, so slightly darker. And then we have this green, which is a little bit softer, this is green 18. And then we have beige, I thought it'd be good to just try out a neutral. This is coming up quite white on camera, but in reality it's a little bit kind of more of a yellow tone than it seems to be appearing on camera. And I went for some yellows as well. So we have this pale yellow, and then we have another pale yellow with a slightly more beige tone to it. And then we have an orange, another orange, and then another red here, and a couple more yellows. They're all numbered, so they have very simple names, just like yellow two, yellow three, <laughs> etc. So let's pop some of these on the wall and we can get an idea as to how they're looking. Picked up some Farrow and Ball paint recently for the fire doors, and while I was in there, I saw this Liberty collection, which I thought was lovely. They've got some really nice wallpapers and colors as well. I like this cane, it's kind of similar to the yellows that I've picked out. And yeah, they have some really beautiful patterns and colors, so if you're interested, that's a range that they now have in store. So here they are, and now I'm very confused. <laughs> Let me just take you through them on the wall. So we have the beige down here, then we have green 18, green 7 and green 5. I'm not sure about green over here, but I'm quite tempted by maybe the lighter one, green 18. Hmm. <laughs> and then we have the yellows, which are kind of nice and sunny. Um, I think this one's really nice. This is quite nice too. It's a little bit kind of, of a more beige tone. And then we have a brighter one at the top. They're coming up slightly, ever so slightly less bright on camera, I would say. We have the orange three, orange two, and then we have a couple of reds. I think reds probably isn't right for up here, but it's good to experiment and see different things. This is coming up quite dark on camera, but it's a little bit lighter in reality. It looks browner on camera. It's slightly more terracotta in reality, and this one as well is slightly lighter, I think, um, than how it's coming up. Hmm. <laughs> well, let me know your thoughts. Yeah, I'll keep you posted and I will share with you when I decorate this wall, of course. It's quite tricky to decide because I think having the different colour tones in front of you, it's kind of like, well, which one do you go for? Do I go for the greens, the yellows, the oranges, the reds? 
I think the reds are probably, yeah, I think the reds are out. I don't think they're quite right for up here. The yellows though, they look nice and sunny. I think with the space obviously getting a lot of light in here, that could be quite a nice option. But I'm also really tempted by the greens because I feel like they kind of bring any kind of greenery back into the space and we've got plants up here. So they kind of tie in quite nicely with that. And then the oranges, yeah, they're quite nice too. <laughs> so as you can tell, I'm, very undecided at the moment, so I'll have a little think. And yeah, I'm gonna look at it in different times of the day as well and see how that changes, because the light changes up here too. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like, kind of like an evening time, first thing in the morning and all of that kind of thing. The house plants are loving life up here. They've come on really well. This one has got new growth coming through. As you can see, there's a little shoot there. And it's just looking nice and strong. And then this peace lily too seems to be coming on really nicely. Look how green this leaf is. Seems very happy up here. And we have some new growth down here too as well. So that's always a good sign. And we have another new shoot here. So that will be a new leaf soon. Talking of plants, let's go and have a look on the roof garden now and I'll show you how it's looking outside. So this is how it's looking now. It has had a good old tidy up, you may remember that it was literally just piled high here full of rubble and stuff from the loft. So I actually moved the yucca right into the middle. Kind of did that while I was just moving things around, sweeping up, but I kind of like it there for now. You'll see why in a minute. I've kind of tucked a little chair around the corner. And then we have a new addition on the right hand side. These are a couple of those Ikea fences that you can get. And we've just got these here to add a bit of privacy. And also I thought they'd be good for this clematis to climb up. The box trees out here are doing all right, apart from this one that I think was covered over from some tarpauling when scaffolding was up. So hoping this one will bounce back soon. And then moving round, oh, this is the one that the snails absolutely love to munch on. <laughs> it's probably some in there somewhere. This box bush is doing really well. That's come up lovely. And then moving round, I've tucked a chair into this area here, which catches the sun in the morning, which is really nice. And we have one single tulip that's come out, <laughs> just seeing the end of the cherry blossom out here. And then you may remember I picked up this from the charity shop that started to sprout. And yeah, I mean, things are looking okay. The geraniums seem to have lasted right the way through the winter and still flowering a little bit. There's some new flowers on the way. For any of you here back in the day when I created this fairy garden, <laughs> seems to be looking a bit worse for wear, but yeah, I love the way that these have all kind of grown across it. These succulents here. Then we've got a couple of aloes. This one's not looking too great, but the other two seem to be doing okay. And down here we have some wild strawberries. So yeah, we've got some flowers on those. So we should be seeing a few little wild strawberries out here as we go into summer. And this is my favorite new addition for the roof garden, which is the outdoor tap, which is so handy for watering the plants, which is what I'm going to do now. <laughs> I'll just give you a quick update of the bathroom as well because there's been some decorating happening in there. Well, there has also been a leak happening in there. The ensuite of the loft had a dodgy connection, so they had to go up through the bathroom ceiling in order to fix that rather than bringing up the tiles in the ensuite. So that's all been done now. The ceiling has been repaired and I'll just show you how things are looking. This is where they had to go up through the ceiling. So all of this section of plasterboard was cut away and yeah, it's all been repaired now. You can see the different colour of the paint on the ceiling. So that will just need to be all redecorated so it matches. This is the corner where there was a leak from the roof. <laughs> Lots of leaks, eh? Um, but this has been all patched up now. The leak is fixed and so just have some sanding to do where the wall's been patched up and then it will be ready for decorating. And the undercoat is on the storage units so these are ready 
to be decorated as well but yeah more decisions to make on colors and this is the other cupboard with the undercoat on this is the gray that was in here before but i think we'll have to go for something a bit lighter so downstairs you may remember that we had to get brand new fire doors put on because of the loft conversion it's one of the building regulations that you have to have fire doors and this is what the faro and ball paint was for and this is the paint it's the faro and ball white and light tones interior wood primer and undercoat and then the color is the windborne white estate eggshell Fire and Ball will give you an advice sheet for the different paints that they have. So I have the advice sheet here for the estate eggshell and it tells you how to prepare new and unpainted interior wood, which was the situation with the fire doors. Basically went on with a diluted coat of the Farrow and Ball interior wood primer and undercoat, 20% water. Then you go on with a full undiluted coat and then you can go on with your finish, which is the estate eggshell in this case and that took a couple of coats and the door did need a good sand first of all but yeah i'm really pleased with the finish of this i think it's a really lovely kind of white tone and yeah looks really nice i picked up these flowers in lidl and they smell so good they're filling the room with fragrance i think they were 3.99 which really good value. I popped a poll up on my Instagram for the paint and it seems like most people like the greens. <laughs> so I've got a dumpster diving vine to show you. It is this, oops, <laughs> it is this block. I think it must be either a chopping board or just part of a kitchen worktop maybe. But I quite like the look of this piece of wood. It's nice and chunky. And I thought this might make quite a nice little either table or stool. So I'm gonna have a go at doing a bit of an upcycle with this. And I've got some legs. You may remember these. These were also found on a skip. And yeah, I thought these legs might go quite nicely on that. So I might have a little go at that in a future video and see if we can create a little stool with our chopping board or off cut of wood. A couple of other random bits that I've got to do some other items with. This bit of pipe <laughs> was left over from the renovations but I thought that might be something that I can get creative with. I was thinking maybe to use this for some kind of like plant hanging so maybe like put some rope through it or something like that and maybe have some plants hanging from it. I guess we could maybe create a candlestick with that too. Oh it's very very windy outside, I don't know if you can hear that. And then I've got some foliage that I thought I might show you. It's in the trunk just over here because I was thinking of maybe adding it to maybe part of the roof garden, potentially to the two fence panels that I showed you outside. But I thought as it's tucked away in the trunk and it's been in there for a while, we'd get it out and have a look at it together. Right, let's see what we've got in here. I might just give it a little sort through and see see what we think. So we have this nice yellow. It's rather nice, isn't it? When I saw this being thrown out, I just grabbed what I could and shoved it all in that bag because I thought there would definitely be some things that we could do with this. Maybe not all together, but if I separate it out, I can get an idea of what we've got to work with. This one looks a bit scraggly, <laughs> missing a few leaves. Have some giant leaves, more fern. Some of this stuff is really nice quality. I think that's fab. I think this is Ikea. And we have these longer branches. So I've sorted them all out. So we have the kind of trailing ivy here, quite a lot of that. And then we have these pink flowers, which are rather nice. And then also a couple of random roses. Then we have the yellow ones. We have these, which I think will look really nice. I might keep these out actually. 
pop them in a vase, maybe with the yellow. And then we have some ferns and some grasses, some kind of straggly bits. It looks like some of the leaves have been removed from these. And then we have some more kind of fern leaves here. And then we have the longer branches. These are really long. So those could stand up in a tall container maybe. And then lots of leaves. But yeah, it's good to get them all separated so that I can put them away, the ones that aren't being used, and then just see exactly what's what. I didn't realise quite how many flowers was in amongst all of them. I'm so glad that I picked those up when I saw them. Yeah, I think I might keep a few of them out. So yeah, I'm gonna grab a couple of vases and have a little play. There we go, I think they look fab. Really pleased with these. I didn't realise, as I say, quite how many different coloured flowers we had in there as well as all the foliage. And yeah, now that I've sort of separated them out, I can really see what we can do with them. Yeah, we have this nice foliage with the pink, and I just thought this was just nice with the plain yellow on its own in the corner here, which is drawing my eye up to the <laughs> yellows for the paint, lots to think about. But yeah, they look fab. Right, I'm gonna get this lot all packed away and I think I'm gonna end the video here. So I really hope you enjoyed these home updates and also seeing the bits that I found in a skip or the dumpster, or whatever you wanna call it. I will keep you updated if I decide to do any dumpster upcycles. I think that might be a video that I might do soon actually, because I've got a few bits from the charity shop as well that I quite fancy doing some upcycles with. Lots of you suggested that I make a terrarium with the glass vase that I found, so I quite fancy doing that. So yeah, stay tuned for a bit of a dumpster the charity shop upcycle video that will be coming for you very soon but yeah i hope you enjoyed this one if you did do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe for brand new videos every single week if you are new here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye